Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates, okay? Because the timing is fluid, right? So let's just see what kind of message I have for today. What do we have for today? What message do I need to deliver today? It could be for tomorrow. It could be for next week. What do we got for a message today? Keep in mind this reading is not time specific and it's not sign specific. This is a message for somebody. I don't know who. Six of Cups, Reverse. We got somebody here that's thinking about the past, thinking about the children, thinking about the memories really focused. There's a lot of uh, focus on uh, what has happened, uh, all the love there was, how it could be. This is reminiscing, reminiscing about the past. So we got somebody here that is definitely reminiscing and doing it quite a bit. Okay. It's like, it's, it's definitely a main focus here. We got the Sword of Truth. So this is the Sword of Communication. It's the Sword of Truth. It's the Sword of Power. So somebody, and this is a new idea as well. Let's just see what we got to go with it. Nine of Cups. Now this person is pretty happy with, with what he has. Very content. The truth leads to wish fulfillment, just so you know. The truth leads to abundance. Now, the Eight of Cups reverse, this is thinking about leaving a situation or thinking about going back. Somebody has been emotionally disappointed and they want to have it all. But they're a little confused right now, not sure what to do. Definitely thinking. Take a look at that. Thinking hard. Thinking really, really hard about love. Really... I'm not sure what I want. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm not sure what is the right option. But it looks like we have somebody here that really sees that there's a better option for love. This person sees it. It's pretty clear. It's like right there. This person is thinking heavily. Somebody could be thinking about going back to their past. Because this could be thinking about going back and this is the past. But this is the sort of communication and this is the truth. Maybe they're thinking about how happy they were in the past. All the happiness they had. So yeah, there's a lot of reminiscing about the past. A lot of thinking going on here. Page of coins reversed. Somebody didn't follow through. They got distracted. Somebody probably didn't act with integrity either. And perhaps now the door is closed. They may, they may think that the door is closed. This is a dead end. Somebody lost track. They didn't put effort in. You know, they got distracted by something. They could have got distracted by their money, by job, by a job, by another person. Uh, maybe the need to, the desire to have it all. You know, I want to have it all. I want to have my cake and eat it too. And now it's like they want to go back. You know, they may they're, they want to go back, perhaps, but somebody didn't act with integrity. They didn't follow through. Now, this is this is a lack of love. Okay, lack of love and stability here. Somebody is not happy for sure. It's definitely very emotional time. A lot of emotions here. Um, So we may have somebody here that can't apologize. It's like there's an apology. These are both apology cards, but they're both reversed. It's like somebody may not be able to apologize. Now, this is a card of ego. Somebody may have a big ego and they need to apologize and they can't. 
They just can't apologize, but they can't stop thinking about the love that they lost. This is a lost opportunity. They can't stop thinking about it. And they want to go back. They're thinking about it. They really want to go back. That's what really made them happy. But they would have to communicate and tell the truth and possibly apologize. But we have somebody here that, you know, may have a may have a kind of an ego of some sort, you know. Um Wow. We got somebody who just cannot communicate. They want to communicate, but they cannot. And we may have something to do with children here. They definitely may have some this is children and these are children. Okay. So we got somebody here. That somebody may be clinging to a situation because of the children. They may want to leave because they got somebody else but they're staying because of the children that could certainly be somebody's story it's like I really want to go I want to get out of here I know there's a better opportunity for me but there's children here so somebody is staying in a situation for the children this could go many ways there's, there's thousands of people that watch this it's like they got this new idea but they it's like they can't take any action because they just all right, now all they can do is thinking, think about it, think about it, think about it. They're probably uh, observing, watching. They're definitely looking at the past. So there, it's like they're definitely um, basically stalking the past. You know what I mean? There's a lot of observation here. We got somebody here that is really like wanting to go back but they just don't have the moral backbone and integrity to communicate they just don't they don't they don't for probably fear of rejection maybe they feel like it's too late this person doesn't love me anymore now the chariot is mastering emotions putting yourself in the driver's seat Facing the opposition, replacing the fear with faith, and taking charge. Somebody may decide to take charge. But they are they want they are trying to avoid rejection. Do we get somebody here that really doesn't want to be rejected? Afraid of being crushed so we got somebody here that is definitely thinking about going back to the past they're thinking about a love it's like they, they and they may have to, or they're thinking about leaving this could go both ways somebody this is the, the somebody is either thinking about going back or they're thinking about leaving they're thinking about love and they're and they're with so they're they're <coughs> in a situation right now that they really don't want to be in and there's like a, there's another opportunity here there is and I want it you know so I don't know about not me but somebody wants it some it's like they want it but they just cannot communicate because of fear but this is the, the six of coins is about give and take And this is going after what you deserve. So somebody is thinking about going after what they deserve. The only way that they're going to bring balance back to their life. And this is taking from one and giving to another. Is to, you know, go in the direction that their heart wants them to go in. Somebody is definitely reevaluating their future right now. They're probably in an unrequited love situation that really isn't stable. It's not stable because there's there's no it's not love. And it's like now they're really thinking about everything that has happened. They got a lot of memories of the past and how happy it was and how good it was and it's like they're just so afraid of rejection. They're really, really, really afraid of rejection. That's what we got here. <clears throat> mm. 
things are extremely unbalanced. This is extremes. This person is on like a roller coaster ride. One minute they want, and that's why this is here now. I get it. One minute they want to go back. The next minute they don't. The net one minute they want to leave. The next minute they don't. We got somebody here that is really, really afraid of rejection. If they had a guarantee, they would probably make a move. But there is no guarantee here. It looks as though somebody is so discontent. It's like, I really wish, this is a wish, I really wish that I could have this love again. Three of Wands, reverse. This is dashed expectation. Somebody wasted a lot of time. And they're wasting time right now. This is wasted time. It's like the, the ship has sailed. It's too late. The ship has sailed. That's the truth. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We have everybody here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. This is uh, seeing the truth. Can't hide the truth. This is a revelation of some sort. This is a reality check. Now we have the five of coins. This is insecurities. Somebody is really insecure. They, they probably ghosted another person. They abandoned another person. Abandoned another person. And now it's like, should they take a risk? Should I take a risk and, and uh, try to go back? This is a gamble, but this is also uh, the five of coins. This is abandonment. Somebody left another person behind and, and now, and their life has been completely turned upside down. It's been nothing but extreme highs and lows. There's been a lot of frustration. There's been a lot of upheaval. There's been a lot of, uh, disruptions. It's just been a complete mess. And it's like if they could just get their balance and harmony back and they could go back, everything would be good again. That's That would be a dream come true. So I think we have somebody here that is wishing that they could go back to the past. But I feel like the ship has sailed. They're stalking, they're watching, they keep looking. Very, very sad and discontent. Now this is abandonment. Queen of coins. Queen of pentacles reversed. Now this person is stubborn. This person is jealous and suspicious. This person may not know their value, though. This person may have not known their value. The Queen of Coins in Reversed is somebody that is doesn't know their value. This is somebody that is ungrounded, unrealistic, not a very hard worker in Reversed. This person is lazy, doesn't nurture things. Somebody may... not have valued this person or she may not have valued another person this is abandonment this and this right here is is wanting to go back as well somebody may may have gotten caught Maybe they got caught with another person. 
Maybe they got caught giving their time and energy and their affection and their love to another person. And they got caught and, and now they want to go back and this person has dropped it. Not interested. Somebody has is feeling a an internal disruption, an internal uh, angst. Uh, breakdown, okay? Somebody is really feeling all torn up inside because of their mistakes. They may have cheated, they may have lied, and the truth is out. This is the truth. It's like the truth comes out. Somebody could have engaged themselves with somebody that, you know, may have looked real good, but now there's some sort of regrets. Somebody has gotten caught. This is getting caught. Which may be causing somebody to move. Somebody may be moving. Maybe somebody gets caught cheating. Or they just got caught cheating. Or they're about to get caught cheating. Somebody may see another person in another person's vehicle. This person is attached. Just saying. This is getting caught. And this getting caught is going to cause some major upheaval. Somebody's going to face some upheaval. They're going to get caught lying or cheating or something like that. Be prepared. Some sort of truth is going to come out. Just so you know, I know that's another whole message, but I'm just saying. Somebody's going to get caught in a lie very, very soon. But this is you get what you deserve. Somebody may be moving. They may be moving because another person didn't see their value. You didn't value me. And maybe this person didn't know their worth and didn't know their value. And that's why this happens. This is the card of reason. Everything happens for a reason. The universe will bring people, this is the universe, into our lives and, to, and cause us disruption so that we learn what our value is. So we could have somebody here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that needs to learn her value through through disruption. I'm sorry, but that is the only way that you learn your value is when somebody lies to you, cheats on you, uh, treats you like shit. I'm sorry, but that's the case. So I feel as though we have somebody, and this is a transformation. Somebody may be going through a transformation where they learn their self-value because somebody cheated on them, somebody deceived them, somebody lied to them. I think whoever this person that did that is really wishing that they didn't, just so you know. But I don't feel like this person can be trusted. I think the ship has sailed, and my advice is to let it go. Let it go. Good luck.